Ben and I have a very tumultuous relationship. Tumultuous? No. Uh, no, tumultuous. Tumultuous. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> that was a little Freudian, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ben and I have a very... Tumultuous? Uh, yeah, see, now I can't yeah. even... Ben and I have a very tumultuous... Just go. Ben and I have a really hard relationship sometimes. <laughs> so how long does Aisha plan to sleep for? Infinity or...? She gets eight hours from when she goes to bed, like she everyone goes... else. Oh, like, like everyone else. I get five. Well, that's I'm your lucky. department. You're your own boss. I'm her boss, I and I tell her what to do. I'm over it. I don't care. Run your department however you want. Finito. I will. There was definitely tension. Um, Aisha, both Aisha and Anastasia didn't like the way that he spoke to them, which I understand, but I guess I'm kind of used to it. And also I think it's a different dynamic because with the chief stew and chef, if he speaks to me like that, I'll go back at him. Whereas Anastasia and Aisha were not comfortable. They were very scared of him, so they were not comfortable to say like, Ben, please don't speak to me like that, you know? Chefs, real like yacht chefs. Are crazy. They are crazy and they, have, they bite the chief stew's head off all the time. The majority of my job in the galley is saying just saying to the chef, don't talk to her like that. You need to calm down, go, you know, like, Stop I don't care. Stop throwing knives. Yeah, throwing Take knives. Take your hand yeah. away from the chief stew's throat. Because <laughs> when the chief stew's just delivering the message, and when the client, and they watch that camera, are they eating that? What is their facial expressions like? We want to woo them. And plus, we want a big fat tip at the end of the day. The food's a huge part of the charter. Mm. And if she brings a plate that's food's left on it, Sometimes the chef will go after go, the yeah. Stew. One of the ladies said, please tell the chef that we didn't like it. Their dessert. That's their dessert. The hard thing as well is, you know, when he goes as hard as he does, you can be in the galley screaming at us and throwing knives and things, but to go from that... Hannah, for sakes. Hannah, Hannah, please, the food is getting cold, please. Oh. Here we go, right now. Nothing All I right. can do. All right. Oh, and then literally 30 seconds later, having this bright, smiley face in front of the guests like nothing has just happened. Um, it's a uh, Les Enfants, so it's a French uh, cabernet. Say it again, it's so sexy. Yeah. <laughs> Can you do it again? Do you want me to just do dinner service yeah. in French? Oh, yes, my God. Oh my God. Yes. It does actually just get draining going from like this to like smiley to this to smiley. You just feel like you're on this really annoying seesaw. But at the end of the day, 90% of the food that he puts on the table is really amazing. So I would prefer to have a hard time in the galley and know that the food I'm giving my guests is, is good than to have it easy in the galley and feeling like I'm serving some par food. Ben's a pro. He is very good. But he's passionate. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to put it. So there was this one moment um, the, the jet ski seized. We need to find out what the f is wrong with that jet ski. Does this have a spark plug? Yes. Okay, so do you take it take it's it out? Not the spark plug. Why are you so anti? No, because I've worked on them. Because you know everything. When you think it shouldn't be done, you decide it shouldn't no, be done. No, absolutely not. No, wait, absolutely wait. Not. I am your captain yeah. telling you to do it, and you're not doing it. When I tell you to do something, yes. you jump really f***ing high, and you do it. She lost it with me entirely. Like. It was bad. He was like, no, it's cooked. I'm telling you, the engine's cooked. And I was like, I don't care. You do what I ask. Just do, yeah. So Jack, I saw him in his true form. I saw Jack go very serious, and he went and got the wrench. I didn't ask him to get the wrench. I asked Joelle to take the spark plug out. And Jack took over. Jack took over where Joelle failed, because Jack recognized seniority. He also recognized she probably knows what she's talking about. And by the way, I don't shout off from my resume, but I do have an engineering degree. I could take an engine apart and put it back together. Do I want to get my hands dirty? Do I want to be in the engine room? No. I like moving the throttles and picking up my radio. Joao, he just had no respect for me in that moment. I felt like, why, did I, why didn't I just take the spark plug out? Well, I should have just, if I'd just taken the spark plug out, we'd all, we'd all be on the same page right now. I said, if I was a man and I told you to go get the spark plug wrench and take the spark plug out, you would do it. Because I'm a woman, you're refusing to do it. Was it the spark plug? No, it wasn't the spark plug. But that, that's beside the point. <laughs> Guess what? The minute they walked off, I said to the engineer, show me the oil reservoir. It was out of oil. Because Joao goes, no, you mix the fuel and the oil. I go, no, that, they did that in 1980. It's the year 2019. Mm. They don't do that anymore. And it was out of oil.
So, the white party, did you and Sandy have a disagreement over this? Oh, with the white gloves. The fact that the white glove was squashed really irritates me. What the f It's not that hard. Sandy isn't happy with interior, and it starts with you. So, do you know, that was, it was honestly a very, it was very easy for that not to have happened. But basically, I came off break, and Aisha said, do you want to use white gloves? And the white gloves we had on board, uh, I didn't think they were very nice to have in front of guests. Because usually white gloves, when you do white glove service, they, they're kind of tightish around here but because these white gloves were so old there was a gap so it kind of just looked a bit strange so I just brushed it aside unfortunately Aisha didn't say oh Sandy said we should do it so I literally thought it was just a bouncing off each other but honestly if she'd said Sandy said she wants to do white gloves cool we do white glove service because she's my captain so what she says goes I don't really see what the big deal was. Me it's neither. Just, is there gloves on her gloves? Yeah. Who cares? I feel like that kind of thing and like table decorations and stuff were just like made into a way bigger deal than they needed to be. I was pissed. Yeah. Yeah, because I want amazing table settings. Here's the thing. Cats and Sandy went to the boat show. I really want our tables to look like this. Okay, cool. Of course, people go to the nines for the boat show. That is the best that they can possibly do. So she saw this and was just like, right, like this is the level we yeah. should be at. I don't think she wanted more. I think she realized how bad they were doing because at the end of the day, right. she's been in the industry for 28 right. five years. Why, how come this, how come Why she didn't say not, this exactly. like four charters ago? Yeah, exactly. Right. The right. fact that we even did the table settings that we as did good as is we did. so impressive yeah. considering what we had. If you saw the state that we got the f***ing yeah. decoration covered in. Exactly. Sh it was, was like terrible. Obviously, there's some tension because I'm getting mad because the table settings are crap. But to Hannah's defense, when you charter a boat, you get everything on that boat. When we charter these boats, they take all their stuff off. Um, we get the shitty color. Especially cutlery. Sirocco, because we'd filmed on Sirocco. Yeah. So they obviously weren't happy with the state that some of the boat was left in from season uh, two. So when I came on, I like open cupboards and I'm like, it's, it everything. was all gone. It was like the people before us were like, we want to f these people and yeah. just like left it complete. Shit. Like you, on boats that I've worked on, you're using decorations that are like thousands, three thousand, four thousand euros dollars. for like this tiny fucking dolphin. It's like, okay, give us like a million bucks and we'll do good decorations. Yeah, exactly. But don't send us to and Home Depot and yeah. expect us to yeah, come up with they something. They literally sent me to this like one street where there was maybe like a few stores and it was like plastic leaves and like a Buddha decoration. I'm like, yeah. I'm not going to buy this stuff because it's worthless and not going to add anything. You're still going to say my decorations are shit, yeah. so why would I spend the money and waste it? We did everything else great. She needs something to be mad She needs something to bitch about, yeah. <laughs> hey, subscribe if you like the video, and if you want more, click here.